When we had last left the Spacefarer, they had arrived at the wondrous city of the UC, the United Colonies, and it was called New Atlantis. And there they traveled around and met a janitor who they got a coffee for, but then also met with Constellation, yes, the group of explorers that Barrett was a member of, and that had a strange interest in the even stranger artifact that the spacefarer had mined up not long ago. Now it was time to continue conversing with them and looking around the lodge. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's peek on up here. Well, since I loaded back into the game, hold up. As much as I, I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but nah. we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. Right. Stay safe, okay? Okay. Let's head on up this way. Hmm. Wow. Fun dartboard. Jeez. Look at the font. I can't believe it's legible from this distance. Okay. Cool. A little bowl. Just like a dining area. I feel like there's way more here than what's necessary, you know? Well, I don't know. I guess we don't know how many other members there are. Cooking station. Can I cook anything? I don't think so. Yeah. Man, the alien scramble looks okay. I prefer my eggs scrambled. It's gotta be said. I prefer it that way. Okay. I prefer a less runny scrambled egg. Okay, little bowls. I wonder if they're meant to be ashtrays. Exotic wood decoration. Whoa, it is valuable. Okay. Sir Livingstone's journal. Oh, shit. Malcolm Livingstone, right? Let's add this to the list. Sir Livingstone's journal. Right? Yeah, I forgot to read last time. My bad. Okay. The Origin of Species. Ooh. The Origin of Species. There we go. I'll take that. And Dracul. Dracula. Man, there are vampires in space, after all. And we've collected both of those before. Moby Dick and Nicholas Nickleby. Yeah, it must just be like public domain books. Right? Oh, here's more. Fantastic. Great Expectations. And Story of the Heavens. Story of the Heavens. Good. Alright, cool. It's back here. Oh, wow. Alright. Ugh, creepy bones? Not a fan of that. Hey, look at that. There's a little fucking guy on there. Isn't that a little guy? Oh, look, there's a little guy there too. Almost looks Waba Jack esque right there. Some more abstract stuff. Man, I bet those bookcases smell great if you could pop them open. A little tiny treasure. Holy shit, it's huge! Oh. 
There's a back area. Desktop globe. Look at all this shit. Oh my god. Wow, look at this. This looks like the scene from like a puzzle game or something. You know what I'm talking about? Or like a walking simulator game? Where it's like just narrative experience with minimal player agency. Oh. Unlock. Inaccessible. Huh. Eggmund. Maybe this is mine. Notepad, notebook, notepads. Moby Dick. Tablet. Great Expectations again. An exotic bottle. Nice bed. God, I love the, like, wood paneling. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Storage locker. A digiframe. Chronomark Chrono watch case. Yeah, this is what everybody's watches came in if y'all got the Constellation Edition. Okay. The box in and of itself looks pretty fucking neat. I don't know where I would ever put something like that, but it looks pretty fucking neat. Oh. Sir Livingston's second journal. Okay. Sir Livingstone's second journal. Good. Oh, visit the Apollo landmark on Luna. Oh shit, Luna. Holy fuck. That's uh I guess if you don't know, that's the more technical term for our moon. Okay. Oh. It loops around. Another storage area? Looks like it could be converted into anything you want, though. It's just being used for storage right now. Maybe this will be ours. Oh, holy shit. Economic meltdown. Okay. Whose room is this? Batball. Galactic Batball Association. What the fuck is it? It's like a new sport that's like a combo of... I don't even know. Baseball, cricket, American football, and maybe even... Regular football, based on the look of the ball itself. Ew. What the fuck is this? Alien Trilobite display. Deck of cards, board game. Yeah, someone's cool. Someone's got some cool shit. Very lived-in looking space. Return of the Interceptor, coming this fall. Feeding the front lines. Juice pack. Old worn out terminal. Oh my god. A cool guy! Plushy Xeno Snuggle. I don't care. I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm taking it. I don't care. Okay. Oh wow. Another really cool looking room, huh? Any good stuff immediately? Is benzene... Oh, it's crafting. Gotcha. Alright. Let's see. Wow. Oh, shit. My friend will be. I took that, too. Pharmaceutical lab. Anything I can develop? I doubt it. Uh, bandages. Okay. Alright. Bathroom. Gotcha. Kind of a zen room, but I don't know. Not as cool as the one that has all the- either of the two with all the shit in it. 
you know? Oh. Now this is my kind of room, I think. I like this shit. Oh. Aja Mamaza's diary. Huh. Aja Mamaza's diary. Good. Okay. Ooh, look at that. It's like a Chesterfield chair. Fuck, I wish I had a Chesterfield. They're expensive as fuck. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Man. I wonder whose room this is. I love it a lot. This is my favorite one. Oh, it oversees the balcony, too. Wow, even better. Okay. Ooh. Free money. Report on Constellation. Huh. Is it an audio log? Oh. Oh, it's a news briefing. Okay. I guess we'll read this right now. This seems relevant right here, right now. The following is an excerpt from a 2283 SSNN news report about Constellation's near collapse. This is about 50 years ago, then. And although Constellation's relevance has been a subject of much debate amongst the New Atlantis intelligentsia, the disappearance of founder Sebastian Banks was a blow most felt the organization couldn't survive. In fact, Constellation's disbanding seemed imminent, until member Chloe Bao changed her vote in the 11th hour, thus ensuring the group's continued operation, at least for the time being as well as her unexpected appointment to the position of chair. Free money. Hell yeah. Man, that's a lot of free money. Is this Walter's room? Sebastian Banks' speech. The following is an excerpt of Constellation founder Sebastian Banks' stirring 2276 speech to United Colonies leadership about the importance of continued space exploration. That is why, my esteemed peers, I beseech you, do not forgo the dreams of humanity only to plunge civilization into an endless nightmare. The settled system stands once more on the brink of war. And for what? A dispute over space? The cosmos is infinite, and yet, like our earthbound ancestors, we have become selfishly obsessed over what we consider ours. At our core, are we a race of conquerors? Of warriors? No, my friends. If nothing else, humans are explorers. So let us continue exploring. Now is the time to venture beyond the imagined borders of the settled systems and fulfill the dreams of humanity. For if we continue down this path, funding only war and not exploration, I fear there will be no one left to remember why we fought in the first place. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I love the idea that, uh, yeah, I guess about 60 or 70 years ago, according to that, the date on that, in this world... Humanity reached for the stars and got there, right? The settled systems were all established and everything, and we just decide we're kind of bored of it, right? We became complacent enough. We didn't have a need to further expand outward, right? It became, um, I don't know, kind of bog standard, uh, just a feeling of exploration, right? Only need to expand out as we need to, to get more resources or whatever, right? More space as it were. Well, or in some cases, just attacking each other, as it turns out, to get uh, whatever was already uncovered and explored. Ooh, where's this go? New Atlantis, okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I love the idea that once humanity reached that point, they weren't met with, right? Like the wonderment was gone. You know, there was only a feeling of melancholy or something as you'd realize you've explored it all. Oh. Looks like a room from the Stanley Parable. Okay, I think that's everything except for the doorway out to New Atlantis. Let's go speak with Sarah. I love the footstep noises in this game. Hello. All right, Sarah, what's up? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I'm ready. I still need time, some time to get settled. What is Constellation? What do you do? How well known is Constellation? What do you know about the artifacts? What is Constellation? What do you do? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Hmm. Okay. How well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. What do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Okay. If I say I still need some time to get settled, do you think we can maybe have a second chance at the tour? I understand. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. We've huh? always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? It's been quieter around here ever since nope. Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. See you later. Okay, I'm ready. We're just at the beginning of this mystery, and you're going to be there for it. I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. I have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission. Good. A chance to learn more about the United Colonies. Like work never pays off quite the way you expect. The UC Vanguard? Other people have artifacts? The UC Vanguard? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're volunteer always force. looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. Hmm. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Okay. Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle. Resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Hmm. Okay. Have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission. Good. A chance to learn more about the United Colonies. Yeah, a chance to learn more. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. 
I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Oh. Sarah will be locked as your follower if you continue. Got it. You and me until we get that artifact. Actually, there's some things I want to do on my own first. What do, we, what do I get out of this anyway? Constellation have a salary? You got a salary? You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Got it. You and me. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Right. Understood. Sounds reckless. An organization should have rules. What do you mean? You don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? Say that. I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Okay. Hmm. Understood. Well? Yeah, it sounds kind of reckless. An organization should have rules. Those are the rules. Advance humanity's knowledge to the best of your ability. As long as you do that, I'm not here to judge you. Now, let's you and I get over to Mast. Hmm. Okay. Sure. So you are you following need me now? To talk to John Tuala in Mast. All right, let's trade real if fast. If you have any gear you want me to haul, I'm happy to help. All right. Laser cartridge. Sure. Good to know. Okay. Bye for now. Can I trade with Vasco real quick though? Captain, do you require my assistance? Commencing yeah. item exchange. Cool, so I can actually trade with Vasco even though they're not in my party. Good to know. Okay. Take all resources. And... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should just take all everything. There we go. Oh, do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Conversational protocols engaged. I am awaiting your query. I'd like to know more about what makes you tick. I am powered by wheels and cogs. They are responsible for any ticking that emanates from me. Okay. How much do you know about humans? Constellation has seen to it that I possess a near encyclopedic knowledge of human history, art, culture, and science. May I answer a question for you? Oh, uh, do you speak every human language? I have been programmed to comprehend all modern and ancient human languages. The only exception is body language. <laughs> okay. My body is crafted from reinforced metal and therefore incompatible with such forms of expression. What was the greatest invention in human history? Logically, I believe the correct answer to be the airplane. That is a pretty wild one. By the computer. Humans could not have become a spacefaring species without them. Illogically speaking, I am inclined to believe that books were your greatest invention. I have spent a good deal of time processing works of science fiction. Really? They make good case studies in how your species could have made a mess of its entry into the stars in different ways than you did in reality. 
fuck. <laughs> All right. Do you know any human jokes? Oh, that, that was a pretty good one. I mean, it wasn't meant as a joke, but it was pretty good. Do you know any human jokes? I am looking at one. <laughs> I hope that was a suitable response. Constellation did not equip me with a sense of humor. I have done my best to mimic Barrett's. No, that's that's fucking great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Vasco, that's really good. Uh, what kind of human music do you like? This is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience enjoyment. Oh, God. However, I find that the music of ancient Japan has a pleasantly mathematical sound. The same is true of the works of European composers from the Baroque period. I have dedicated significant time to processing these compositions and understanding their structure. Okay. I have a question about something else. Understood. How did you become a part of Constellation? Constellation recovered me from an abandoned lunar robotics factory on Earth's moon, where I was manufactured. I am told I was in quite a state of disrepair. Barrett elected to refurbish me after the discovery. Right. Since then, I have been reprogrammed to be useful to Constellation. You were built on Earth's moon? That is correct. I am a first generation Model A robot. As such, wow. I was manufactured on Earth's moon. Modern lunar robotics products are manufactured elsewhere. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I guess it also explains the paint job, right? Do you remember anything from before you were reprogrammed? Some data from my time on Earth's moon remains deep in my motherboard. In your but motherboard. I do not frequently access it. Very little of what is in those files would prove useful to modern spacefarers. How did you get your name? Constellation named me after the Portuguese explorer Vasco oh. da Gama, who resided on Earth in the 15th century AD. He explored his home planet by way of its seas. Barrett tells me he was quite an accomplished explorer. I am inclined to believe it, as that is a compliment Barrett normally reserves for himself. Well, it's a good thing they were able to fix you. Constellation is an exceptionally driven and intelligent group of humans. I would expect nothing less of them. My programming dictates that I must answer any question. Do you enjoy working with Constellation? That is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience human emotions such as enjoyment. That's so However, sad. However, I have been kept busy since Constellation acquired me. That satisfies my directive to be as helpful as possible for the duration of my existence. Hmm. Do you miss the Lodge while we're traveling? In a geographical sense, the Lodge cannot be missed. It is easily accessible from the New Atlantis spaceport. Right. But I presume that you are using miss in this context to mean long for. In which case, my answer is no. I long for nothing. Barrett, yeah. however, regularly complains about missing the Lodge's amenities during our travels. This has led me to the conclusion that it is a place worth missing. Hmm. I cannot help but think of, and be reminded of a lot when talking with Vasco here, uh, of data from uh, the next generation. I miss it enough for both of us. Sentimentality isn't my style either. Yeah, it sounds like something Barrett would say. Sometimes I wish he didn't take these questions so literally. I miss it enough for both of us. Your vital signs indicate that you are currently in a state of emotional distress. 
engaging in support protocols. Oh God. There, there. <laughs> okay. I'd like to ask you about something else. Very well. Please proceed with your query. Can you tell me more about Lunar Robotics? Lunar Robotics is a manufacturing company. They are most notable for creating Model A robots. Their headquarters was once located on Earth's moon. It was evacuated during the cataclysm that rendered Earth uninhabitable. Right, Today, I've heard a little bit Lunar about that. Robotics products are still found throughout the settled in pre release systems, material, myself included. What's your read on Barrett? It is impossible to read Barrett. He is neither a book nor a block of code. Right. If you are asking for a summary of my observations on his behavior, I will provide one. Well, he does seem like quite the character. Have you two been traveling together for long? Do you have any idea what his story is? He knows he almost got me killed, right? Did Barrett make you? <laughs> we know that's not true. I think. I mean, I guess... No. Have you two been traveling together for long? My internal clock tells me that it has been years since years? Barrett and I began traveling How do you together. not know? I have traveled much of the settled systems in his company. Wait, you didn't give me an exact number. How... What? Do you have any idea what his story is? Barrett has not shared many personal details I guess you're just with me. Unable he to track him anymore. A poor conversation partner. Despite repeated attempts on his part, I do not understand the concept of gossip. He knows he almost got me killed, right? I have only seen Barrett kill his enemies. If you do not number among them, I surmise it was accidental. Damn, okay. What you are suffering from is likely a bad first impression. I suggest consulting Barrett on the issue at once. Right. Barrett tells me a bad first impression is the hardest thing to break. I believe that is because he has never tried to break a diamond. Okay. Did Barrett make you? No. I was manufactured by a machine. However, Barrett has modified my programming substantially. I have advanced linguistic capability and navigational skills. I warned him that I would require an extra millisecond to process information with his modifications, but he did not seem to mind. Apparently, my capacity for conversation makes me a more entertaining travel companion. Yeah. Well, he does seem like quite the character. Based on my understanding of Barrett, I believe he would be flattered by that assessment. I don't have any more questions right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How does traveling with me compare to traveling with Barrett? I find you to be a more measured and logical captain than Barrett. It would be quite difficult for another human to be more <laughs> reckless than him. Right. My likelihood of expiration due to corporeal destruction has been significantly reduced since coming aboard your ship. You should consider this a success. All right, I don't have any more questions. I am relieved that your curiosity You're has been satisfied. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Hey, Sarah, want to hold some it's shit? It's you and me from here out. Have something for me? Yeah, I do. Okay. Store all that. And let's get these stowed away too. Oh, we're already under encumbered. Good. We need to find a vendor lord. We'll ask Sarah about Goodbye. stuff later. Alright, let's head out. 
Right? You're following me, aren't you? My contact is in Vanguard recruiting. Yeah. So, expect a sale. Maybe another time. Sorry. Okay. Good. We should go to the commerce area, though, and dump some of this shit off. Even if we have to take a bad price. Ooh, it's really nice at night. Wow. Okay. See if I remember how to get anywhere. Or wait, can I travel by way of doing this? Oh shit, I can. Yeah, holy fuck, okay. You see that scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Ooh. Lovely, alright. Let's head down here. Our whole office is getting moved to Gagarin. Really? Mm. What's there to even do on Gagarin? Beats me, but the financials make sense. Well then, we're going to have to give you one hell of a send-off. You, madam, have a deal. <laughs> it's just small talk. Okay, I love it. Commercial district. I love that they have this tram situation. Ooh. 20 XP for even getting here. Pure, healthy, good, young, attractive, fresh, seductive, emotional, beautiful. Enhance! Oh. Do you like this? There's still, um... Like, enforced beauty standards, right? Huh. Okay. It took years to get it looking just like this. Whatever you say. I know, you think this is a joke of a job, but keeping the grounds immaculate, you can take pride in it. Nobody cares, nobody's looking at it. These greens are the heart of the commercial district. And if it's clean, if it's thriving, so is New Atlantis. <laughs> I'm just here for the paycheck. <laughs> You'll come around. You'll see. Okay, where's a shop we can go to? What's this place? Infinity. Hey. Welcome to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. Oh, uh, is this a store? We don't get very many visitors here. It really makes the day crawl by. Oh, okay. This this is not a store. <laughs> My bad. Alright, let's go over here. Well, I definitely know I can sell stuff here, right? Oh fuck. No, I can't. The Free Star Collective. A collective of snakes. Oh shit. You got something to say, okay. Hold up, I'm looking for vendors. The stone? Or whetstone? Gotta have our table ready soon. Welcome to whetstone. What is it? If you're looking for the best cut of meat in the settled systems, look no further. I'd like to see what's on the menu. But of course. Okay. I can sell here. Hmm. Now oh, I can only sell this shit. Maybe I should go back to the starting point and come back here. Right? Because we know that worked. Mast. The Lodge. Frontier. New Atlantis, yeah. Let's go right there. There we go. 
Because I'm pretty sure we could sell at the terminal here, right? Hey. Okay. Weapons. Yeah, we can get rid of these. Prices aren't going to be great, but I'll take it at this point. Okay. Oh, Constellation Pack. Eh, the 20% carry capacity is really good. Maybe we'll keep it. Good. Don't need two hazmats. Okay, good. Let's see, how about miscellaneous? Sort by weight. Yeah, let's get rid of all these. Do I want to keep Eggmund? Nah. Okay. Look at the uh, reduced value we're getting. Right there on the right value. I'm definitely going to keep the plushie. Can we sort by value now? Yeah. Here we are. Yeah, the Norelcos are kind of worth it. Especially for how plentiful they were in some places. Wild that you can sell the digipick. God, I love this creature. I bet they're gonna sell these in real life. Yeah, vacuum tape doesn't seem useful. Okay, that's a lot of our shit gotten rid of. What can I do for you? Let's see, Sarah, what did I get from you? Or give to you. Talk to dropping off a few choice items. Let's see. Weapons, yeah. Oh, are you wielding the solstice? Yeah, it's it's got a little equipped icon. Maybe she's wielding it. Okay. Sure. So long. Good, and then sell off again. I don't really want to use melee. Okay, good. Let's go back in here and stash all the resources. Hey, Vasco. Hi. Please disregard. Can we access our cargo hold from here? I think we have to formally board. So, where to next? Nowhere yet. Just over here to the cargo hold. It's you and me from here. I'll only right. carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> You'll carry the shit. All right. I appreciate that. There we go. Take the resources. Bye. All right, and let's stash them. Good resources, store all. Cool, perfect. All right, head out to the world planet side, and now I guess we can track down this quest. Right, Sarah's contact. Well, how far off are they? Yeah, they're kind of far out there. 
Mass District. Let's fast travel to it. Here we are. Nice to have some fast travel this time around, huh? Didn't have any in our previous BGS game playthrough. Aw, oh, more people with the weird hat. Or hair. Mistis Archive, Freestar Embassy, House Varun. I forget, where did we need to go again for it? Sarah's contact. Sarah's coming with me on my first mission. I need to speak to her contact in the UC Vanguard about possible lead on an artifact. Alright. Yeah, it's so Starfleet HQ well, City or whatever. Okay citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy. I, I do. do. Then I'm proud to welcome you to the Vanguard. Now, you all have your assignments. Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et ultra. If you're looking to earn yourself a place in the UC, Commander Tuala can get you squared away. Okay. Oh, we could join him. Holy shit. Faction to join. Makes sense. Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Okay. Hey. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? <laughs> right. It's Nywall. All right. Maybe later. We have Constellation business to discuss first. I would love to join the Vanguard. Sign me up. No, thanks. I'd rather chart stars and fight wars. What's the Vanguard? What's the Vanguard? United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. A chance. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? Maybe later. We have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. Re-enlist? It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. We'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer for it. A scientific discovery being used as an ornament. The indignity. If he's on patrol, he could be putting our item at risk. Who's this Mora? Wait. What's wrong with the soul system? Wait, what's wrong with the soul system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Hmm. Get your ass off Mars. <laughs> get your ass off Mars! <laughs> uh, who's this Mora? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. Okay. A scientific discovery being used as an ornament. The indignity. Hey, vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? Easy there, John. We all have our sore points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right, I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Damn. Soul system okay. with a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. 
You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Damn, all right. Uh, thank you for all your help, John. We're off to Sidonia, then. A bar in a spaceport. Sounds like home. Anything you can tell me about Sidonia? Did Mora say where he found this ornament of his? Anything you can tell me about Sidonia? Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. Mora say anything where he found this ornament? You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Huh. Okay. We're off to Sidonia then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. Jesus. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. Alright. Yeah, shouldn't you go to a fucking high school or something and do this? <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Anything else here? Oh, user. Already logged in. Do you think I can get in trouble for that? Let's find out. Vanguard Recruitment Primer. Oh my god, there's a bunch here. Welcome, recruiter, to the Vanguard. You've been chosen from among the UC's many talented service people for your interpersonal skills, pleasant demeanor, and ability to get the mission done. And the mission of the Vanguard Recruiter is simple. Fill our ranks. Your new recruits only need to match a few simple criteria. No UC bounty. Able to successfully complete a basic flight simulation. Able to successfully complete a probationary mission. Something easy that's not going to get them killed. And, while not an explicit requirement, they're going to need a ship. We're not running a shuttle service here. We're turning the fine souls of the settled systems... Per turning to the fine souls of the settled systems precisely because our Mistis regs have filled our transports enough already. If your potential recruits fit the above mold, then you can direct them to the command on to Commander Tuala in New Atlantis to initiate their application process and get you one step closer to your quota bonus. Any questions or comments should be referred to Hinata Kyra. Kyra? UC Naval Public Ops. Major. Keys of Recruiting. Oh, God. The Naval Public Ops Office has des designated a few points to highlight when talking to any new recruit. Steady income. The UC's got plenty of work for the motivated recruit. From patrols to cargo units, from combat to humanitarian support, Vanguard work runs the gamut, but it all pays handsomely. Freedom. Vanguard members don't work like the traditional military, but get all the same benefits. Never worry about a surprise transfer or a new assignment when it's inconvenient. Vanguard members get to pick their jobs at their own pace. Huh. Are they doing like a gig economy for like a PMC? Is that what it kind of is? Are they running like private military companies through the gig economy? No. Maybe. Citizenship. UC citizenship is traditionally a long-term investment, even for people born in the United Colonies. 20 years service before unlocking the various benefits isn't unheard of for the UC natives. For UC natives. While foreigners have no guaranteed path at all. Huh. Until now, every member of the Vanguard will become a citizen after their designated time of service is completed. Guaranteed. Interesting. Huh. Guaranteed citizenship for serving. Okay. Recruiting facts. Question. How long does it usually take to become a citizen? Answer. It varies broadly based on the flight exam and performance of the probationary mission. Anywhere from 20 years. Though applicants in this range should probably think about applying for janitorial service instead of flight combat down to just three years service for top tier candidates. Any lab rat or UC desk jockey would salivate over earning citizenship in that short of a time. Something you should often be sure to bring up to your applicant early and often. Yeah, this seems fucking shady that they're dangling uh, UC citizenship 
on like a carrot as a carrot for enlisting in this weird weird like way of militarizing their their force or whatever right their areas hmm question am I going to have to kill people answer this can be a tough question for applicants coming from civilian backgrounds so as much as your impulse may be to reply yeah no shit or similar you need to treat this question with the respect it merits while also being truthful Yes, you're joining the real military by joining the Vanguard. So yes, you may be asked to engage in real live fire combat in the line of duty. And if another war breaks out, you may well be called on to lend support. If that's a deal breaker for your recruit, then maybe the Vanguard isn't where they're meant to be. Question. Why are all members of the UC Vanguard called Captain? A. The reason we tell our recruits... They... The reason we tell our recruits... They are the captain of their own vessel, able to issue commands as they see fit on their personal ship. The real reason? People like to feel special. <laughs> Our office believes we'll get more people in the door if they're given their own rank in the UC. Besides, if everybody's a captain, they can't pull rank on anybody, now can they? Question. <laughs> this is surprisingly, uh, candid. Question. If I've got a new- if I've got a crew and join Vanguard, are they going to earn their citizenship too? Answer. Short answer, no. Why wouldn't they if they're working? If they're doing the same work? But don't give your potential applicant the short answer. Be thoughtful, polite, and remind them that the UC takes all comers. The crew's welcome to join up too, if they think they can hack it. And that means more quota for you, hardworking recruiter. Right. So they don't want personnel just self-assigning in that way. Okay. Active commands. Tuala John. Alright. Current assignment cycle, 118. Current assignments, rest cycle, New Atlantis. Yada yada. Oh, Uriel. Uriel Donner. Okay. Bethesda, you can't just make someone's name Uriel. Right? <laughs> Without... There's a certain... Gravity. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a certain gravity to the situation when you use that name. I know it is kind of a real ass name. It's not a common name anymore, but there is gravity to using that name. All right, view desktop. Oh, wait, what is this icon? Okay, never mind. Let's back out. Yeah, dude did not care that I went through that. Okay. Sure. Well, Cydonia, huh? Fair enough. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Let's see. What other shops are around here, though? The Lodge. Commercial District. Let's go there. And let's see if there's any shops we can look at. Right, I wouldn't mind a weapons or like armor or clothing shop or something like that. Okay. There's food and drink. That person Evie has definitely got a quest. Anybody talking loud enough? Oh, SSNN. Settled Systems News Network. Oh. Well, they couldn't have called a galaxy news net, radio or whatever, <laughs> right? They couldn't have called a galaxy, right? Oh, what was that? Oh, it was the radio. Okay. Hmm. Zoning meeting. Should we also, before we leave, investigate the wow, well? You look completely different. Oh, this is the genetics <laughs> lab. It's me. I mean, you look great, but isn't it going to confuse him? He won't even recognize you. I'd be mysterious. <laughs> Zoe, you are one in a million. Maybe for our third date, I'll be a redhead. 
Oh yeah, the yeah, implications of that, of being able to do it that frequently and easily. I guess if you have the money, that's kind of wild, huh? I feel... underdressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they set up shop here. They'd be better off in Neon, but Outland's used to people like us. So, the hardware is worth the trip? Best in the settled systems. Expensive as hell, but once you are kitted out, we can go after the big bounties. I just wish everyone wasn't staring at us. Screw them. Let's do some business. Hmm. Not here on business. Just shopping. Okay. Yeah, what's your You're deal? Safe as Cornelius. Your there. Welcome to Outland. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. All of our products come highly recommended by individuals who have devoted their lives to distant travel. And while I've never needed them myself, I stand by everything we offer. That's not very reassuring. I'm surprised you don't use any of the things you sell. <laughs> so you just fly out there buck naked. I'm impressed, let's say that. Hmm, no, no flying for me. Not, not my style. You've really never been to space? Goodness, no, I just couldn't. You're out there millions of miles away from anything, and if something goes wrong... Yeah, it is kind of scary. I can't stomach the thought. I prefer solid ground under my feet at all times. And preferably a hot, fresh coffee within reach. Can't get those in space either. You get a lot of repeat customers? I do. In this line of work, it's essential, don't you think? Not seeing people come back would not only suggest that they're not satisfied with our business, but that whatever they purchased had failed, leaving them unable to return. I would not be able to sleep at night if I thought that were the case. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Uh, please do. I hope we have something that suits you. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Weapons. Oh, you sell cutters. Spacesuits. Deep core spacesuit. Ground crew. Navigator spacesuit. Star roamer spacesuit. Okay. Sure. I mean, our current one is pretty good at mitigating physical damage. I don't exactly know what it means when it says 69, but... I mean, that's gotta be something good. Packs? We're definitely not buying one of these. Helmets? Definitely not buying one of these. Space Trucker Space Helmet. Okay. Ground crew space helmet. Oh, it looks nice. Apparel. Labor jumpsuit. Settler poncho. Workwear. Labor jumpsuit. Eh. Okay. See you around. Yeah. Mostly workwear, right? Alright, let's see out here. Let's do a quick save. So what's this place? Can Bank? you imagine how many credits flow through this place? Yeah, you want to rob it? of course. Yeah, let's rob it. Hey, Landry Hollefeld. Yeah, listen, I, I have a lot on my plate right now, and you don't look like a new hire stumbling through their first day. Uh, who exactly are you? Uh, just a starship captain, seeing what new Atlantis has to offer. I'm a member of Constellation. I'm the new receptionist. Sidearms are now standard. Read the memo. I'm just seeing what new Atlantis has to offer. Really? Huh. You have your own ship? Oh god, we're about to get a quest. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Kiss me, really. I have a business proposition for you that could, uh, help us both out. Very lucrative. Oh, you're buttering me up pretty thick. I'm interested. Is it illegal? Is it legal? law and order type? Well, this is perfect. Oh. This job is literally That's not what serving I meant. justice. Gal Bank is the agreed party, and if you help me, you help all of us. <laughs> okay, I feel like hopefully we go out there and we have some agency in this. Okay, I'm interested. 
Good. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'm going to help no the bank. Time. Of course. Might just be a little desperate. See, the world of credit analysis, you know, dealing with deadbeats and reprobates is, uh, well, it's a tough field. What I need is a ringer, someone that can collect some of our top delinquent offenders. What I need is you. You work with me, and the fee you get will be huge. Tell me about the mark, then. What's so difficult with debt collection? How many credits are we talking about? What's so difficult with debt collection? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, and I'm guessing you have, the settled systems is big. Like, really big. Someone gets seriously underwater, they skip the system. And it's a real pain to track them down. Sad truth is, we can't track everyone down, so credit analysis always has a black eye when reporting to the higher-ups. How many credits are we talking? Oh, I can tell you're eager. That's good. But we'll start small and work our way up to the worst offenders. <laughs> okay, this is fucked up. Tell me about the mark, then. Yes! <laughs> so, we got a galaxy-class con man took out a loan to franchise a restaurant. Turns out, surprise, it was a scam. And Dieter Maliki jumps system. Now, he's holed up in a literal shack in the middle of nowhere. Can you believe it? <laughs> His delivery <laughs> is impeccable. Is the voice Get actor Dieter is killing it. And we don't want him dead. We don't want him hurt. Just close his account like an honest citizen. Uh-huh. Is he dangerous? Well, I mean, yes. We're not the only ones looking for him. And you don't dome up on a dust ball unless you're serious about dodging your civic responsibilities. What happens if he dies? If he dies, then his assets go to probate. And we can get paid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So if he forces you into an it's you or him situation, it's A-OK -okay for Gal Bank's bottom line if you choose him. But <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. This is not the ideal outcome. We wanted him liquidated, and we'd have put a tracker on him. How do I get him to pay? Well, you may need to lean on him, scare him. Nothing illegal, just talk to him. And don't listen to any sob stories he tells you. Any job I give you, I guarantee there's not some poor sick aunt that needs credits for surgery. These are scofflaws, scum, flagrantly violating the terms of their gal bank agreements. Fuck off. I hope there's- I hope you can arc this quest toward the debtors, right? Let's collect some debt. I'll send over all the details. You find Dieter and bring his account current. Decided to take a break from exploring to collect some debts? Hmm. Not exactly a constellation-worthy pastime, but I'll follow your lead. Uh, Damn, you got some input on that. Note, but, you know, not everyone's a straight arrow. You cut a deal with Dieter. Honestly, I have no way of knowing. Yes! But don't expect any more jobs from me. Best of luck. I believe in you. Yes, yes, I'm gonna cut a deal with Dieter. I don't give a shit. <gasps> Fuck off, Galbang. Fuck off. <laughs> oh my gosh. They've already answered all my questions. <laughs> Perfect. All right. But where's a fucking clothes store or something? Where can I get some armor or shit? Hello. Distribution center. Where are we distributing? You see distribution. I don't like the sound of that. Maybe that's it. No way. Let's see. Can we pop our map or anything? Surface map. Apply for a job. Talk to the bartender. Okay. Huh. Well, fuck it. Man. Oh, shit. Oh. The project has to be done this quarter. Our back is against the wall. Surely you can take a day off. Everyone needs to recharge. Not Look at this fucking 1990s ass color scheme. There and who's not. We nail this, and careers are going to change. And the bonus. I know, I know. I just hope it's worth it. I, I can stay for a little while longer. 
It's just three more days. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, whoops. Let us track this. Should we go to Sidonia or should we go and... Let's see. Yeah, investigate the brownouts. I kind of want to do that. Fuck it, we'll do that real quick. We'll do that real quick. All right, when next we come back, we're going to the well. Right, we're going to the well. There's no, like, weapons or armor store, though, around here? Hmm. There probably is, but I just don't know where. All right, when next we come back, we're going to the well, wherever that is. I don't know how we get there, but we got a little quest tracker situation. Until next time, please take care of each other.